the Saguaro National Forest. Located on the outskirts of Tucson, Arizona, this national park is home to a large number of saguaro and other cacti. The Saguaro National Forest, pronounced Saguaro, not Saguaro, offers over 128 miles of hiking trails for you to explore. This unique forest is a joy to wander. Oh yes it is. After traveling for a good part of the day, we arrived in Tucson, Arizona, and we set up camp at the Pima County Fairgrounds Campground. This is a large camping area. Or should we say large areas, plural, because they have a few different sections of camping. It is mostly large gravel parking lots with hookups. We had a spot with full hookups for $35 a night. That's a great price. Yeah, definitely. Often, there are shows and activities at the fairgrounds that you can enjoy while camping there too. After setting up camp, we needed to stretch our legs after so many days of sitting in the truck, so we headed to Saguaro National Forest, which is only a 20 minute drive from this campground, and took a couple of short hikes on some of the nature trails and drove the scenic loop as the sun set. It was stunning, and we decided to forego any other plans we may have had and spend the next day hiking in the park again, since we loved it so much. Here's where our National Park Pass also came in handy. Cost to enter the park was $25 for the vehicle, but free with our park pass that we had purchased at the Carlsbad Caverns along our travels. Now, if you enjoy hiking, you'll like Saguaro National Forest, and you'll be entertained for days. Oh yeah. If you're not a hiker, but want to see the beauty of a cactus forest, you can enjoy the driving trail and the short quarter mile desert ecology trail with interpretive signs along the way, as well as the visitor center. The visitor center offers a short film about the area as well as many interpretive displays and demonstrations. Scenic driving loop is a twisting, turning, single lane road with some blind hills. All right, this will give us an idea what the trail looks like. This is the loop road. A person can simply pay their admission pass to the park and drive around. I don't know how long it is. Did you see a sign, Heather? I'm not sure. It's very twisty turning, and there are points where it goes up and down pretty drastically, so you lose uh, sight of the nose of your vehicle and the road in front of you. There are sections with a lot of cacti. This is a little more bushy section here, but we're coming up on some cacti section, I think. Yep, and we just saw a road run across the street a few minutes ago ahead of us. That was nice. And lots of trails. And watch out for pedestrians as you're driving along these because there are bicyclists and runners that seem to use it. It leads to some of the trailheads and picnic areas. There are a couple of handicapped accessible trails as well. The road meanders through a lovely chunk of the saguaro forest. The saguaro cactus grows slowly, probably due to the low volumes of water in a desert environment. A one inch tall cactus is about five to 10 years old. At 20 to 45 years of age, they are about two feet tall, while a six foot tall saguaro is about 35 to 70 years old. Branches or arms begin to grow when the cactus is about 50 to 100 years old. And eight to 20 feet tall. When the cactus is about 150, even 200 years old, it can sometimes be over 30 feet tall with multiple arms extending from its main trunk. At this point, the cactus becomes old and begins to die. Very few live more than 200 years. Here is a large cactus, saguaro. You can see that it's a little bit in rough shape, kind of decaying, but it is very tall. They are interesting to see as each has its own unique look. This saguaro cactus was planted in 1916 from a tiny black seed and transplanted here to mark the 50th anniversary of the National Park. In 2016, both the cactus and the service celebrated 100 year birthday. In the desert, a lot of the woodpeckers come and they start pecking holes to get the insects and the moisture that is inside of a cactus. But then after they're done, a lot of times the owls and other types of birds will use those holes as nests for their young. There are many other cacti in the area as well. It's like a sawtooth, isn't it? It is. Near the visitor center is a cactus garden with signs identifying the different variety of cacti and other plants that you may find in the area. We've learned that these are called the Choya plants. They sure look soft and fluffy like cotton from a distance, but they are far from being soft and fluffy. 
The desert is also home to many birds and animals such as your javelina, snakes, tortoises, and the yellow monster. All of which are elusive and we haven't seen. As the sun set, we were lucky to catch a glimpse of a couple of coyotes preparing for their evening hunt. Also, we had a roadrunner run past us, but we didn't have the camera ready fast enough to catch a photo of him. On our second day, we picked the Douglas Spring Trail for our trek, an uphill trail to a waterfall, one of the few desert water sources. We were told it was flowing due to a recent rainfall. And so there is water in the desert, but not always. Now this was a nice way to spend the morning. We walked up the Douglas Point Trail, and the end of the trail leads us to Bridal Wreath Falls. You can walk right up, you can go beneath them. Swimming here is not easy, the water is very cold. The trail to get here was about 2.6 miles each way. We've got some beautiful views. You can see over there where we came from, there's somebody doing the hike down. This is a, not a difficult trail, but it's not easy. We're going to label this a moderate trail. There are a few places where most people are going to stop and take a rest. We took the same path back afterwards, but there are other paths you could choose to loop around, but they will lengthen your return trip. It took us about four hours for the round trip. We walked steadily, but didn't rush and stopped for photos here and there along the way. And the mountains off in the distance, and look at the nice cactus. Beautiful, beautiful. We are so lucky that we are living this life. It was a wonderful hike, but maybe difficult for those who are not used to trekking. There were so many other trails to hike that we could have spent all week there, but we only had two days and are moving on again. This is definitely a place that we would revisit when we're in the Tucson area again. The desert forest is very different from the forests we're used to in Canada, and we've been loving the excitement of a unique landscape to enjoy and explore this winter as we live in the Sonoran Desert. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you on the road. Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.